Walt Ehlers and his brother Roland grew up in Kansas during the Great Depression. In 1940, they both joined the Army. They trained in the Pacific but were sent to North Africa after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. For almost four years, they fought together in three major campaigns. During the fighting in Sicily, Roland was wounded and sent back to Africa for treatment. Walt continued to serve and later reunited with his brother in England. But their reunion was short-lived. Their company commander told them they would be separated for the first time. Walter would be transferred to Company L as a squad leader with a 50% chance of survival. On D-Day, the brothers landed at Omaha Beach. Walt's craft hit a sandbar and they had to wade through deep water. A few hundred yards away, Roland's company also landed. They had to focus on their own responsibilities and didn't have time to worry about each other. Walt led his squad off the beach, facing enemy fire and attacking the high ground. After a six-hour battle, they finally broke through. Walt's courage saved his platoon and earned him the Bronze Star Medal. As night fell, he went searching for Roland but only received news that he was missing in action. In the following days, Walt's squad moved inland, ahead of other troops. On June 9, he demonstrated extraordinary bravery, taking out machine gun nests and mortar pits. Despite multiple wounds, he protected his men and carried a wounded comrade to safety. Walt's determination and leadership earned him the Medal of Honor. He returned home for celebrations but couldn't forget his men spending Christmas in the field. With permission, he went back to finish the war. Walt Ehlers exemplifies the bravery and sacrifice of countless soldiers. His story reminds us that ordinary individuals can become heroes in extraordinary circumstances.